Gabe Ross with your first alert forecast. 12 minutes after 5 o'clock, boy, those rainfall tallies verifying in a big way, especially inland along the Highway 701 corridor all the way down through Ori in Georgetown counties. Georgetown actually picking up uh, just under 10 inches of rain with this, and that pretty well evidenced here on the estimated rainfall map. We'll get into the specifics, though, here in southeastern North Carolina. Just finished tabulating some of the area rainfall tallies. Spots like Barnum Town picking up close to 7 inches over a half a foot of rain in Whiteville, about five and a half inches in White Lake, White Wrightsville Beach over four inches and just a little over three and a half inches for Watha. So uh, we've certainly met our rainfall quota here for a little bit. We'll have some time to dry out. That's the good news. Let's look for our next rain making system. Hate to say it's going to come during the holidays, but it looks as if Around Christmas Day night, if you will, so the night of the 25th through the day after Christmas, the 26th could be our next low pressure system. Still a little ways to go before we get a little more organization there. Uh, but in the short term, our focus is going to shift to the temperatures. They're dropping off in a big way. West and northwest breezes all at play there. Wrapping up the first alert action day, of course, from yesterday. No other action days planned as we head through the next seven days. But should that change, especially that low pressure system, we'll keep you updated. So let's scrutinize temps, shall we? Upper 50s to about 60 today. The wind's still kicking up and being a little feisty, so that's going to introduce a wind chill. Yeah, I haven't felt like we've talked about that. A long time, right? First thing tomorrow morning, low 30s, some upper 20s mixing into overall wind chill values in the middle and lower 20s. Extra layers will be the way to go, friends. And notice highs limited tomorrow, middle to upper 40s at best. You factor in that wind chill and it's going to feel like the upper 30s. But compared to what we've seen the last 24 hours, those winds uh, slackening off and doing the same as we head toward Tuesday night. Notice around 10 o'clock Tuesday evening, we're already at or below freezing and route to some of those 20s. The winds letting up a little bit, but it's still going to feel mighty cold. So people and of course, pets need the extra TLC. Hopefully those plants already done, taken inside. And when we talk about actual air temps in the low 20s, now we start to get a little concerned about pipes as well. So that should be top of mind for you too, especially if you live in some of the more rural areas across the lower Cape Fear. West Shore home, first alert sky cam high atop the Murkison building. Still got some leftover clouds, 55 degrees. And you know those winds still whipping up a little bit. Out of the west, sustained at 25 dew points in the 50s. Ultimately, that air... Uh, is going to start to dry out a little bit, but we've got 60 today. Those winds starting to let up a little bit, allowing us to get back to about the freezing mark tonight. Maybe some spots a little lower, a couple degrees warmer by the coast overall. A rogue sprinkle, not out of the question early, but I don't think it's going to materialize in anything frozen. And then, yes, temps middle and upper 40s at best come tomorrow under mostly sunny skies. The dry weather sticking with us for a good little bit. First day of winter, really living up to that wintry feel. Upper 50s, not too far off of our averages near 60 and lower 60s for Christmas Day itself. But it looks like it could get a stray shower in there, but I think more so Christmas night and the day after Christmas. Bill, back to you.